Last time on Sailing Solianus. We spent a few days in Pentwater with Kirk's family, sailed 60 nautical miles to Frankfurt, watched a boat drag anchor during a thunderstorm, then set sail for South Manitou Island. There's South Manitou right behind me, and it is our first island destination. Not exactly tropical, <laughs> considering I'm in a jacket and jeans, but pretty nonetheless. Should be there in about an hour, I think. Actually, maybe less, maybe a half hour. We've got 14 knots of wind, we're doing six and a quarter knots. Just cruising along. Cruising along. Headed to our first island destination, which is an uninhabited island, except for, I think, there's a few park rangers, and there's a ferry that goes to it. It's gonna be our first night anchoring this boat, and we're expected to have like 20 knots of wind. <laughs> we just saw yesterday a boat in the harbor drag anchor and go through a mooring field and stop within about three feet of a pier. So we're hoping we avoid any of that. We got here around one, and it is what, six? Yep. And we have hawkishly been trying to keep an eye on our location to figure out if we are dragging anchor or not. And it appears we have been a little bit, so. Hi. <laughs> A downpour at our first island. At our first island. I think. six hours um i laid in the cockpit and watched the boats and wondered about every 15 minutes if we had dragged anchor mm, well that's good because i wondered about every three minutes if we had dragged anchor. <laughs> oh so now it's a competition no i'm just glad that you wondered less than i did mm. well look at that tree it's still where we left it that tree is in the same spot so my theory is that we dragged in the first hour after we set, and over the next hour it reset, and now hopefully it's holding. Uh, it's 8.30. It's been a pretty lazy, pretty slow, pretty mellow day. Uh, it's the first time in a long time that we haven't had any sort of service, wireless service, internet, phone, anything. Spent probably three hours today reading my Kindle, which was pretty great. Feel slightly cooped up just because we don't have a dinghy, so in short, it is right there. And it would have been so nice to 
go for a run or even just sit on the beach, even though it's kind of cold. We do have an inflatable kayak, um, but it's a real pain in the butt to blow up. So, And it was also raining a lot of the day. That was the other reason we kind of felt cooped up. Now I'm probably going to go downstairs and see what yoga I can do in the cabin, because I haven't tried that yet. Except for one handstand. I did manage to do one handstand against the steps. Or I should say headstand. Headstand. And make some macaroni and cheese and go to bed. Good morning. I might look like I kicked Kirk out of the bee birth, but I didn't. He's sleeping in the living room under his own volition. <laughs> he was actually being really sweet. He didn't want to wake me up because every couple hours he had planned to get up himself and check on the acre. That is right. Now I'm going to put on my pants. <laughs> it was a rough night. Oh. <laughs> It was a rough night last night. The winds were supposed to be out of the northwest all night long at 15 to 20, but they shifted and we were being blown kind of into a lee shore. So I got up every two hours to make sure we weren't dragging because uh, we had to set the anchor a second time already. We anchored on a little tiny shelf and it drops from about 20 feet to 140 feet real quick. So I was a nervous ninny, nervous Nelly. <laughs> All night long thinking we were going to drag anchor right into the shore and I was going to lose my brand new boat the first time I anchored it because I was being a dunce. <laughs> but we're alive. The boat's fine. Hopefully today will be a good day. We're going to pick up my pops in Leland and sail around to Charlevoix. And my 20 some odd year dream of sailing into Charlevoix on my own boat will come true today. Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> We arrived in Leland later than we thought, so we decided to stay the night and leave for Charlevoix the next morning. One of the first things we love to do when we get into a new marina is walk around the docks and check out the boats. That is a hinge in the center, so they'll flip over on themselves. Oh, I see. That's cool. Yeah. Sometimes we even get an opportunity to lend a hand. Back in the 
Carlson Properties purchased this building in 1977 and then moved it to its present location on the river. Bill originally called it Fishtown Candy Company, but later decided to change the name. He recalls it was near the falls, so I called it the Dam Candy Store. Sales skyrocketed. Kids could say damn without getting in trouble. <laughs> Makes it faster to rig. the engine. And we need to turn off the fridge, the blower, and all the other battery stuff. You're looking mighty salty there, Dad. I am salty. A little peppery. We motored from Leland about the end of the Leland Al Peninsula and then put up the spinnaker and then we've been running on the jib. Yeah. Been perfect. What are you munching on down there? Promo corn. Uh, so where are we? We're like 100 feet. No. 100 feet? We're 100 feet. We're 100 feet We're in 100 feet of, of water. Lake. Yep. <laughs> We're 100 feet from the bottom of the lake. That's true. We are what, like two miles out of Charlotte Boy? One and a third. One and a third miles away from Charlevoix. go in there. I think that's the guy that started Four Winds. And there's just boats everywhere, hanging up, dock, up on the hard. He's just got all these toys. It's so cool. We, we did, did it. it. We made it to Charlevoix. I had one goal this summer in the Great Lakes, and that was to make it here. And we did. On a beautiful day, with a great sail, my dad finished the week with us. Made it all the way up to Charlevoix. And I'm feeling pretty stoked.